Hello everybody, Hyper hey, Mario Sunshine here, and we're back for some more Fire Emblem Awakening in the last episode. Well, we re finally recruited Anna onto our side. Well, it wasn't really the same Anna that we met last time, but there's a whole bunch of Annas. And uh, I think we should get started with our support. So I did a lot of off-screen training. We finally got Lissa and Robin to their uh, weapon proficiencies up to D. So now we can use Iron Weaponry for both of them, respectively. Uh, we also leveled up, surprisingly, uh, where is he? Uh, Gaius a bit. We got him to level 9. Uh, we've also been improving a few supports and getting a couple of other level ups for a few other characters, mainly focusing on supports and improving some weapon proficiencies for the most part. So yeah, we're just mainly focusing on Robin, Lissa, Gaius, and, uh, Muriel and Kellum, who, uh, are actually very close to uh, getting that uh, S support. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So anyways, with that out of the way, let's get to the next part. And that is the uh, supports we have. So let's start with Frederick and, Vi and uh, Lissa here. So... Uh, let me fix that real quick. I just realized my whole my stand is like not holding up properly. Hmm, that's odd. I could have sworn he was here some. Aha! There you are, Frederick. Jeez, why the grumpy face? There is the. I fear this is the only face I have, milady. Was there something you needed? What are you doing back there? Inspecting the contents of our armory for worn or damaged equipment. Ooh, I'll help. I cannot allow that. You could cut yourself or accidentally... Do you think I'm an idiot? Honestly, Frederick. I think you are a princess whom I am duty-bound to keep safe. Yeah, yes. Boring. Was there something you needed from me? Oh no, I mean, yes, but I want to ask you a favor. How may I serve you? I want you to train me like you do to the others. I'm tired of struggling to keep up with everyone. I want to hold my own. A fine idea. It would be my pleasure to assist in your training. Though, I must warn you, I am not gentle, uh, a gentle teacher. Be certain that you want this. Oh, I am! Alright, see support between them. Uh, actually, before we continue off the supports, I want to announce, I know this is out of nowhere, but I am getting a capture card for my 3DS uh, XL. It's not the one I'm at recording on right now. Uh, as you guys know, I uh, I have this downloaded, so uh, I don't know when it's going to come back. Uh, my 3DS, I haven't sent it out yet, and by the time this video shows up, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be sent out by that point. But yes, I would like to say that because future Let's Plays might have a, a 3DS capture card being used. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm getting it on my 3DS XL. This is my new 2DS XL that I'm playing on. So yeah, uh, shout outs to Evo Capture. They're going to be helping me out with that. So I'm going to be sending it to them. And it should be here within a few weeks or so after I send it. So uh, expect it to not be for Fire Emblem. I think Fire Emblem is going to be the last time I'm actually going to be doing this. But I will still have this similar setup that I have for Fire Emblem for future Let's Plays that may or may not involve DS or 3DS games. But anyways, enough of that. Let's continue the next support. Yeah. Hey, Lissa. You see Crom around? Huh? You're not looking to duel him again, are you? Because I thought we... No, no not that. It's just, well, it kind of concerns you, actually. Oh? See, I've been thinking. And, well, I was wondering if... Ah, oh, horse feathers. I'm not good at this. So what I'm trying to say is... Would you do me the honor of wearing this? Is that... Is that an engagement ring? Add the town armory, armorer crafted special. I know ain't much, especially for royal. But I ain't a rich man, so this is all I could really... All, was really all I could? You know, if we wed, Krom will be your brother to, in name, yes? 
That means no more talk of duels and rivals, got it? Ah, oh, nuts to that. I love you, Lissa. I love you so much it hurts. The crown and me are rivals, and it'll take more than a wedding to change it. Truly? Gods, you are simply the most stubborn, willful, brave, and strong, and charming man I have ever known. Yes, Vague. Yes, I accept. Ah, oh, Lissa. You've made the vague stay, week, year, lifetime. We should go tell my brother the good news. I'm sure he'll be surprised. That's what I fi well, was looking for. Him. Figured I should get his blessing. Well then, shall we look together? Yeah, together. After you, Miss the Vake. Very cute. <laughs> Especially how he calls her Miss the Vake. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, we got Lib Libra and Noe. So, hey. How about here? <laughs> Stop it. My backbone is very t ticklish. Dang, this is harder than I thought. How about here? Is this your heart? <laughs> Not now you're tickling my ear. How about here? <laughs> Not, not my sides, please. Libra, we won't get anywhere if you don't start taking this seriously. Oh, I'm trying, Noe. I just have no idea that I was so ticklish. I'm just touching you. I'm hardly even moving my fingers. I suppose it's because I'm not used to it. I spent so much of my life trying to avoid simple human contact. Now the high, slightest touch makes my nervous system go into convulsions. But why do you s avoid touching people? Don't you like hugs even? I suppose it's because I lost the ability to trust people, and so feared them instead. Hmm, I can understand that. I mean, I was afraid of, hum of humans too. But you're not anymore? Okay. Well, nope. Well, maybe a little bit. But not as much as before. I mean, I know there's lots of scary humans around, but there's lots of nice ones too. I envy you. Fear still holds me to its grip, no matter how I try to overcome it. Why don't I help you? For a start, I could introduce you to some nice people in camp. Well, I suppose I'm willing to if you are. Alright, cute little bee support. I really like that bee support. No, he's really trying to... Improve Libra. His, uh, social awkwardness, I guess. Well, I guess he's not really used to being social. Anyways, uh, I have to make a correction. Anna does have more than one support, but it's not an S support or anything. And it, this character is not available. We'll get to her. Eventually. So. Ha, <laughs> huh, someone's cheerful today. Eek! Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you there, Robin. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you like that. I was just wonder wondering what you were laughing about. Yes. Well, I just sold some inventory at three times the price I paid for it. That's great. So, as long as I wasn't one of the suckers who fell for it. Hey, if you don't know the game, you shouldn't make the deal. But don't worry, it wasn't you. Ah, there's nothing like the feeling of when, of when the coin hits your hand. If you say so. Oh, I do. I tell ya, the path of happiness is paved with gold. But there are some things money can't buy. Important things. <laughs> That's a load of bull plop. And even if it was true, money makes you care less about not having those things. I don't know. I love money. Money, money, money. Clink, 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 go the hit coins. Well, someone's a very greedy character, but that's why everybody loves Anna. Alright, we got Cordelia with two of them. We got Virian and Wonku. Those will be the last two, so let's do the one I want her to be with, Virian. Ah, uh, Cordelia, I cannot help but notice you've seen trouble as of late. Oh, I feel fine. Have you noticed a problem on the battlefield? Your fighting is impeccable, as always, but your brow seems 
creased with worry. Our cares always find a way of rising to the surface, hmm? And your beautiful visage cannot help but mirror the turmoil in your heart. Oh, you've or you've been eavesdropping again. Never, for sharp-eyed Virian, Milady's anguish is writ large on her features. Well, maybe there is something, but that is all I'll say. And keep it that to yourself. I don't want anyone knowing I'm troubled. And why ever not? Because then they might start to pity me, and I hate pity. It makes me feel like I've lost. Lost? Ha! Huh. How very like Milady to frame it in terms of competition. But dare I ask, why are you willing to let me know this? Because you're flippant and fancy-free, and you take everything in your stride. My blunt manner never seems to phase you in the least. Ho oh, ho, say no more, milady. Virian has heard this speech before. A prelude to a confession of love. Milady, I am most grateful. It has nothing to do with love. Uh, yes, th then just so... <clears throat> In any case, perhaps sometime we might discuss the source of your troubles. Such a beautiful face is ill-served by the sombre shadow that clouds it. Perhaps sometime, but no more of that this love talk. Understand? Interesting developments there. Seems like uh, Virian's getting a crackdown on Cordelia's problems. And lastly, the Long Ku support. Long Ku. We're about to hold the War Council. It's time to return to camp. Very well. Uh, may I ask you something? Of course. Why did you come to my assistance in our most recent battle? Well, you were beset by foes and looked as if you needed the help. I see. You're not wrong in this. I would like to settle this step quickly. Is there anything you need? It's hardly a debt, Bonku. We're on the same side. But if I can see you're serious, so let me see. I'd love to get some fencing le lessons, but I suppose that's not possible. I mean, what, with your crippling phobia of standing near women? Ugh. By the way, does this phobia mean you can't help me on the battlefield either? No, in the heat of battle, I am able to overcome my inclinations. Well, that's a relief. I hate to think you'd stand there while some brigand ran me through. If you ever require assistance, you on need only say the word. I'll keep that in mind. Alright. So there's that. That's all the supports we have in mind. Uh, I also did take a chance to upgrade a lot of our inventory spaces and fill them out. Take out whatever we didn't need. And uh, yeah, we also got Pan a new beast stone. So that's good. Uh... Yeah, gave uh, everybody some new items that, that might be useful. And I say, let's begin chapter 11. Mad King Gangrel. The enemy has taken the field, my lord. Back already? Ha! It feels as though we just said our goodbyes. Our scouts report they are in surprisingly good spirits. Since when do we trust our scouts? Besides, what does it matter? They're armed like beggars compared to us. I could break their ranks as easily as I break wind. I'd love to hear the song the bards make of that. Aversa, there is a truth about the world this Elysian whelp must learn. Man, a man is either strong or he is dead. <laughs> God, that was uh, kind of bad. That was a voice crack in that laugh. Your Highness, dire news! Oh? Speak. Our troops are laying down their weapons and deserting en masse. Please, sire, 
I am but a messenger. Have mercy! That's how Fred Frederick is running in that. I have a report from Con Flavia. The Plagian army is in disarray. How do you mean? It seems many of their soldiers are opposed to further violence. There has been fighting and desertion. Gangrel is trying to stamp out the mutiny by force, but the little success... Outside of the few faithful who serve him directly, his army has been all but collapsed. This is incredible news! But why? Emerin. Yes, my lord. Emerin. The reports say Gangrel's men chant her name as they abandon the field. Her words and her sacrifice have made her a folk hero of sorts. Emerin. Why did it take me so long to understand? She believed all people desired peace. She knew, deep down, the Plagians wanted it too. It just took her to bring it to the surface. I hope she can see this, wherever she is. Today, we put an end to Mad King Gangrel and bring back peace back into the land. Seems like this is our opportunity here. All right. Uh, we're going to be leaving Gaius out here. We're going to be bringing Sumia in. Vink, uh... Oh yeah, Noe is stupidly strong now. I forgot to mention... Oh my god, I forgot. Uh, I think we might need to get our new Dragonstone. Uh, but yeah, Noe is definitely very strong now. She's level 14. Once you get her up those levels, yeah, there's no stopping. Uh, let's see. Fortune, I think I'm going to leave Kellum out. Uh, do you want to put Wong Ku in? Let's take out... Well, let's keep Virian in, leave Fred Frederick out. I think we're definitely going to finish up the hidden and his Maribel support. Uh, I do want Pan in. I, let's see Tharja. I actually do want to see uh, what Tharja does here in this chapter. Uh, but yeah, I think... Oh. Huh. Well, they already... I think... No, we kind of need an axe user. We don't really have one. Don't want to leave that open. Oh, yeah, we did. I'm going to leave Muriel out. We'll get her and Kellum to S support soon, though. There we go. Tharja. And there we go. That's going to be our, our team. Or group of this map. Now, let's see a map a little preview here. As we can see, they're all here. That's a, the entire army that remains. And there's Gangrel himself. He's got a Dragonstone with him and a Leaven Sword which is going to be amazing for Robin. That that weapon is going to be absolutely fantastic. It is definitely a signature weapon we see from Robin quite often, including Smash. Uh, the reason why I selected Longku for this chapter is because we're going to be getting a character that I want paired up with him. So we're finally going to meet that character. Also, before we're that, do we have any Dragonstones? No, we don't. Ugh. I don't want to sit out Noe, but... I'm probably going to use her sparingly. I'm going to have Libra take the uh, the, tr the lead. Anyways. Good day, my little princeling. Still dreaming of your squash, sister. No more talk, Angrel. Today you die, and peace returns to Elise and Plagia. Such hypocrisy. You despise me, wrench. You want to cut me down. You don't know the first thing about peace. No man does. I know more than you ever will. More than me? More than me? <laughs> you are me. When life asks a question, you answer with blood. Maybe you're right. I will never be my sister. I cannot forgive men like you. Men who sow nothing but evil. All I have left of her, wor are, her are words and her memory. We're alone. Where, where I alone, I might be driven to madness, or worse. But I'm not alone. My friends and brothers in arms stand behind me. Are you done? May I vomit now? <laughs> what a flowery hagridge. 
Meherringe. Men are beasts, nothing more. We fight, we kill, we devour our prey. Beasts do not stand behind beasts, little prince. They use each other, only long as if suits their selfish propose. A purpose. They propose. Well, I think it was close, but whatever. Perhaps this explains why your own soldiers refuse to stand behind you. You are poison, a festering wound, and I will do what my sister could not. Such a clever tongue you have, little prince. It lo will look more fetching hanging on my mantle next to your sister's corpse. Here she is! The Lord, I have come. Am I too late? I don't claim my dance is anything special, but Con Basilio says it renews the spirit. And we got a dancer! It is Olivia! This is the character I want paired with Wong Ku. I just think that the two characters, one being a very shy woman and a guy who has a phobia of women, just feels cute. Anyways, we're going to be pairing her up. And yes, dancers are a very interesting class. They could revitalize the spirit. They give your character an extra turn, so... Let's say, for example, Krom and Sumia here, if they finish uh, moving up ahead. we And let's say if uh, we got Monku and, uh, Monku and uh, Olivia to catch up, we could get her to dance. So I think I'll show that off. So switch over here. Also, Gangrel's voice really kind of, kind of hurts my throat. Anyways, we could do this. And... And yes, dancing does give Olivia some experience points. So if you if she's a little too weak at this point, I actually suggest that you could give her, her just the dancing routine uh, if it's safe to do so. And it legitimately helps out. Uh, Alright, let's see. Who do I... I think I'm going to go Robin with... Uh, let's see, Pan... All right, I think we'll do this. Uh, Baco to Lissa. Now, Lissa's actually going to be really good now, because now that she has her uh, axe in, at an iron instead of a bronze, she should actually be able to do some damage. We also got some level-ups on her, too. There we go. We could get some good traveling out of this. Uh, wow, we could... We barely missed that. Alright, let's see what we get here. 27 experience points for Sumia. Nice. Uh, oh, let's pair up Robin with Ardra for now. And we'll have Pan with uh, Anna for now. Oh, wow, Pan gets a nice big upgrade. Uh, we haven't used Pan in a bit, which is why I actually bought her out, because I feel like she'll actually be pretty useful here. Anyways. So, uh, I do want to kind of cut down the length of these videos somehow. I don't want to show... I do want to show a lot of the important story bits and whatnot. And, uh, some very cool moments, like attacks where it comes to critical hits. So... Let me know if you guys want to see, like, the full battle sped up. Like, you know, me holding down the A button. And Krom gets an A weapon proficiency increase. Uh, we're going to also have to get those treasure chests before uh, they do. Yes, draw closer. Let them charge at me with their rage. More of my soldiers shall greet them at every foolish step. So, yeah, let me know if you want me to skip battles more often. Because uh, I know there's a lot of enemies, especially in some chapters. Uh... Yeah, we also have to worry about this thief here, so he's a, a rough, just a random ruffian. You actually can tell the difference. It says ruffian and plagian. So yeah, if you ever see uh, something different than the others, then make sure to go towards them, because definitely something you have to go after. Uh, let's put this uh, here. Right, I think we're going to have Virian finish this guy off. Now, I don't know who to get for my next Master Seal. We got quite a few characters that could definitely uh, appreciate it. 
All right. Got spirit dust. Nice. We'll put that away in the convoy. Uh, hide in here. Uh, this is a good opportunity for Olivia again. Yeah, I really want this pairing. Long Ku and uh, Virian. No, not Virian. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. But yeah, Long Ku and Olivia just seems perfect for each other. Uh, let's see. Perfect. That should do it as long as we don't get hit by the Elwind. I do want to go after that uh, thief, though. I think we're actually pretty close to it. Uh, we do have the weapon triangle disadvantage, but oh my god. Libra, what? Oh, I, oh yeah, I forgot that. He, he has some really high crits. Burian should be able to take care of this guy. Yeah, Virian has actually gained some pretty usefulness out of it. Uh, me training him off screen and just training him uh, in general because we kind of abandoned him at some point. And now he's back in the fold. Now, I know I could do that for, to some other characters as well, but I think that we could get some better characters later down the line. Well, unfortunately, we're going to not have our distant counter weapon. Alright, luckily for us, we don't have to worry about that. Ephraim's Lance should be coming in handy, though. And we got ourselves Sumia a level up. Wow, that's a big level up. Wow. Uh, I am a little worried about that. But the reason why I bought Anna around was because, obviously, of this. Uh, guys, I'm still trying to train up a bit, though. Looks like they're trying to surround us, though. Uh, let's switch over to Noe. Hopefully, we can get something out of this. I know she doesn't really have any way to attack after this. Perfect. We actually... Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was a kill for a second. I met a new dragon friend? His name was Banta. Banter? Wait, well... Oh, okay. Noe just uh, mentioned a character from the past. And uh, Banta was his name. Uh, he is uh, a character that take, took care of a character from the past named Tiki. And pretty interesting that she meant to mention that means he's still alive uh despite this game taking place thousands of years after uh the events of where of shadow dragon and uh new mystery of the emblem all right let's finish off this guy whoa tharja nice she's very close to a level up too all right uh gonna have to switch here i want long to get some uh, experience actually is there any this yeah there's no mages we'll put long right there uh i do want to switch over to cordelia so we can get some much needed uh flying uh pan you could make a quick closer uh approach because these woods yes they are okay perfect and I think we'll move ever so closer. Uh, let's go over here to this fortress. Actually, here. Oh, actually, this actually might... Oh my god, I just realized. I think I should have covered the fortresses. Wow, Tharja literally uh, going in on them. Nice, okay, I was a little scared there. And Tharja with a, her first level up as a sorcerer. Uh, I think I should equip Nos Nosferatu on her. Because Nosferatu is just broken. She's just going to heal over and over again. Which is what I really want out of that. And Lissa's axe broke. Ugh. Wow! That's our third or fourth crit? Wow. 75 damage. 
Actually, fun, fun fact, I actually never pulled Sumia in Fire Emblem Heroes. It's kind of crazy I haven't pulled her yet. Uh, this is going to be a little... Okay. Okay. I hope that... Okay, nobody else is going to approach her. Alright, Wonku. It's going to be bombarded a bit. Like that. Oh, of course. All right, so yeah, you're gonna have to. A uh, strategy here is to actually cover up the uh, these things here. And Gang Grill is actually approaching. Oh shit. Uh. I want Melissa to finish this guy off. Wait, he had, I thought he had less HP than that. Alright, well, no, we finish this guy off then. And she gets another level up, yeah. Dragons are pretty good for the early game. And I think she's going to be an overall solid unit. We got Rin's Bane, so she could actually, uh... Do, she... So, like, any character that does effective damage on her actually could do less effective damage. Uh, no Sra too. I think, yeah, that's the, that's the play here. No way. Alright, at least Robin gets a level up here. A huge level up. Wow. Uh, Lissa could actually finish off this guy? No, she can't. Unless Vake comes in. Why not? Let's see. Okay, guess he's just gonna steal her thunder then. But she still gets a level up, so great. That's what we want. Got Rally Luck. That's actually pretty nice. And we got a Master Seal out of that too. Uh, is there a Thief? Actually, we already... Oh. I'm gonna guess he's gonna try going after that. Uh... I do want Monku to take out one of these guys. The Soothing Sword, let's do that. He needs a little bit of HP. Nice. I know he does Vantage though, so... Maybe leaving him Vantage range might be good here. Uh, is, do we, okay, we could actually switch over to Anna here, so she could pickpocket this. Chest, what do we got? Got a goddess icon, let's put that away in the convoy, great, great, I great item. Uh, well, switch over, take out this guy. Yeah, a lot of Wyvern Riders here as well, which is kind of why I want to trade up Virion, because he would do really well uh, against all these, uh, Wyvern Riders. Uh... I want to back up just a bit. Uh, I kind of want to prevent these guys from attacking. Not only that, but I do want to... Oh, wow, we're going to get bombarded from behind, too. Uh, we're definitely going to have to take away that guy. Oh, my God. Let's see if actually Darja has a unique interaction with him. Clinging to each other won't save you maggots when the boot falls. Oh, my God. Leaven Sword... Oh my god, Thadra is cursing her own former leader. Well, she did deflect, so... Alright, uh, Robin. It's a little dangerous there for him, but I think he should be fine. Uh, this should be Noe's last uh, time with the Dragonstone, which is just gonna leave her vulnerable. Yeah. Alright, Anna's gonna have to defend herself here. Nice. All right. Uh, well, I'm surprised they aren't going after Robin. I guess they can't really reach him. They're all going after Lissa. Uh, oh! The crit, but uh. Oh my God! Please, Vake, come in for the clutch. Okay, she dodged it thankfully. 
Yeah, she does need her her another axe. Uh, all right, she should Anna should be fine here. But yeah, so far this chapter is going pretty great. Only Tarja was our uh, loss for this chapter. Well, quote unquote loss. Oh boy. Okay. Da definitely, well, that wasn't going to happen, especially with that hit rate. Alright, they're approaching. Alright. I do want to take care of that guy, though. I really do. Uh, actually, I do want to get a kill here with a... Uh, how much do you do? Oh, you're definitely going to finish him off. Uh, Erica's Blade does... Uh, oh my, so this is the first time we're seeing this. Times four. So some weapons could actually do four attacks. This is so broken. Uh, fortunately, we're not going to really use Erica's Blade. Uh, okay, I guess we're not going to really get a chance to attack with Olivia. So I guess we'll give this a long coup. As long as uh, him and, uh, and Olivia get some support together. All right. All right, we're going to have to switch here. Uh, we're going to definitely need to take out everybody else around here. Uh, yeah, I can't really attack anymore with her. Please, can we finish off this ruffian? The large balloon would be really good. Thank you. Libra with the clutch. Got that for ourselves. Uh, Furion, oh great, let's switch over, definitely going to keep Robin in here because definitely very, uh, incredibly bad if he try if he's uh, out in the open like that, I think this is the best way for him to, uh, to go after anyone. Oh boy, that's actually very bad. Uh, what's King Grills? Oh boy, I really hope he doesn't go after Robin. They could actually finish him off weirdly if he gets a crit. But his... Oh, that hit rate is really bad. I think we're going to finish off... Go into the woods, maybe, and finish off this guy. I don't know if they're going to go after Alyssa, though. Uh, wow, this is actually a really hard predicament. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to heal here. I really hope Gangrel at least goes after Alyssa. I would prefer her to be... Uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh! Ah. Uh, oh, her miracle didn't kick in. Alright. It's fine, it's fine. Fake... All right, at least Robin got the kill for him. Good. Also improves what Robin's proficiency. God, this is scary. And Vate gets a level up. Wow. Now, Vate could also get a, an upgrade here. I do want to talk about some characters I have ideas for for upgrading. Oh my god, Anna. Oh no. Actually, wait. She's, she's going to live this. Wow, hanging on by a thread. I actually do want Panta to get into some action now. Alright, we definitely gotta take out Gangrel soon. We're getting surrounded. Alright. Vake, go with Robin, why not? Alright, we're not gonna get a chance to uh to attack with this guy, so. Krom, let's see what you can do. Celeste Blade could actually uh do the trick here. Let's see and we'll get yeah javelin could too it's been a while since we used pan so let's try attacking 
with her here. Oh, wow, we can actually finish that with Olivia, which is pretty funny. Oh, wow, so let's show off Erica's blade. She could actually, uh, fin literally one ratio, well, not ratio, ration kill him. One R KO. Oh my god, she, she just obliterated him. I did want to show that off, so I guess we'll switch off after, but let's kill it, him. Oh, ah, oh, that's that's kind of bad. Uh, her attack isn't really the best at the moment. Oh, but Monku, Monku with the clutch, and he got her a level up. Amazing. Oh my god, that's a big growth. Yeah, so Olivia is definitely a character that has a lot of growths. Uh, it's why I recommend always have a dancer. Dancers are really, really good in Fire Emblem. They're always good. I don't know if there's ever been one time where I've said that fire, if they've never been good. Uh, anyways, let's go. We're heading to take down Gangrel, so let's attack him with Krom. Uh, we're going to use Salus Blade. Come, Prince Thing. I've sharpened my sword just for you. I mean, the Leaven Sword is pretty uh, jagged. I don't think that's uh, really sharp. My sister wished for our people to know peace, Gangrel. But as long as you draw breath, it can never come. For you, Elise! Oh, boy. Oh, but here we go. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, he's gonna have eight H point nine HP left. Let's see if can Robin actually finish him off. He can, but he has to hit that. He's got really high, uh, really low defense, but high res. Uh, no, no, they're not transfer. Uh, his hit rate's much better though. We could finish it off with Virian if we get lucky enough. Hmm. I'm not going to take my chances. I'm going to try using the Bless Bow. I mean, it's the important way to beat evil is with the Bless Bow. Oh, never mind. Cordelia does, kills off Gangrel. Wow. And we have defeated him. <laughs> Prince. You are a people care not for you. You are a home. As every man lives and dies. Alone. Virion with the level up, and he's absolutely right. He did die alone there. All of his uh, subjects pretty much abandoned him. And we got the Leaven Sword. We're going to be giving that to Robin once we reach C with him. And we got the Dragonstone. We're going to be giving that to... Oh, wow. We still have to finish off the map. Uh, We're going to definitely be giving that to Robin once we get to uh, his weapon prof proficiency uh, up. Uh, Iron Sword, wow. Robin. I actually low-key kind of regret not giving Robin the, uh... The, uh, oh my god, what's it called? Uh, the, an HP Bane. Maybe I should have given him something else. Yeah, we only got these two left. Let's just finish them off. It's kind of weird to have... Oh. Wow, the person who... La the two who landed the killing blow, one of them has to retreat. Alright, let's get Pan in there. Actually. Let's get, let's get a few extra EXP. Why not? Yeah, that's a very cheap way to get some EXP for Olivia. Just have someone just take a few steps. A few extra steps and Boom. There we go. And at least we got the speed wing to make up for it. Alright, let's finish off this guy. Uh, got an armor slayer there, which is actually pretty good if you have uh, armored enemies. Anyways, Robin, take the final kill. And there we go. We're finished up with chapter 11. We have defeated Gangrel. And that should give Robin a level up. Wow, that was an incredibly long chapter. 
But what did they say? Well, the most important part of war is always the final battle, and yeah, it's definitely going to be long. Seven turns, Krom and Sumia are heroes. The remaining Plaguean forces are surrendering en masse. Order our forces to cease fighting at once. Sire. Yes, sire. Alright. We've done it. And a ray of light shines upon us now. And it's finished. Once their messenger delivers our terms, that's it. We put an end to this bloody business once and for all. We've won. Somehow, I don't feel like celebrating. Victory can be bitter as well as sweet, my boy. It's good you learned that now. Ragnar Ferox lost many good soldiers today. We need to see our to our dead. Then it's time to attend to the living and rebuild our army. I'm sorry, Flavia. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. The Elise will compensate your nation in whatever fashion. Oh, in that case, how about you hand over the Fire Emblem, and we'll call it even. <laughs> Just a little Feroxy humor. Don't worry about a little fi our finances, Krom. Reparations will fall to Plagia, and I've seen their treasury. They can well afford it. Yes, pity the man who stands between Flavia and a full coffer boy. <laughs> I'll have to remember that when you come to visit your stall. And there we go. And so, the war between Ulysse and Plagia was ended. Prince Krom and Robin worked tirelessly to restore Ulysse's splendor. This would have taken this would have been no easy task, for the war had taken a heavy toll on the Haldom. With Feroxy muscle and Plagian gold, they brought peace back to the people. All the while, the prince forswore the title of Exalt out of respect of, to his late sister. Even so, his subjects grew eager for their new ruler to take a wife. And in his heart, Prom has always known who that woman would be. The royal wedding was a joyous occasion, attended by thousands from near and far. Finally, it seemed that the last lingering wounds of Ulysses' history had healed. But then, two years later... Two years later, we're going to be entering the time skip. Love my videos, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we're going to be seeing what occurs two years later after finishing up the war with Plagia and overthrowing the Mad King Gangrel. See you guys then.